I'm fine. How are you? Not too tired. A little bit tired, but having a lot of uh, a lot of coffee, so that's good. Ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, I wanted to know um, how do you feel that in this movie, uh, Gwen and Peter's relationship is evolving. I feel very good about it. I'm really excited for this next part of Gwen's story. This this been this has been an element to her her story in the comics that I've really been looking forward to. So I'm I'm yeah I'm I'm glad about what's happening in this movie. Uh, are there a lot of uh, parts that uh, yourself is relating to Gwen? Um, there are lots of things that I admire in Gwen. That I really, I, I love her independence and her strength and her intelligence. Um, and I don't know that all of those things are present in me all the time in, in real life, but it's really nice to play her. <laughs> it's really great to play her. Uh, in the Spider-Man movies, uh, we always have this uh, very kind and beautiful uh, heroine, and uh, we we think that you played very well. And that in each movie, every time you become more beautiful. Aww. So all the Japanese girls are wondering, what is the secret to your beauty? That's so nice. <laughs> um, I, um, God, I <laughs> That's just a nice thing to say. I have I have no idea, but that's a very nice compliment. Thank you. I like to sleep, and I like to feel good about myself in here. Mm -hmm. That always helps. In one of your interviews, I, I uh, read that uh, you said that Spider-Man is uh, is the muscle, and you are the brain. So, uh, how would you describe the, this relationship? Uh, how how uh, are you complementing your each other? I think Gwen adds a lot of brain power to the equation, and she definitely gets herself involved in in the situations that Spider-Man is involved in. He doesn't he doesn't want her to be around. He wants to protect her, mm -hmm. so she stubbornly kind of makes sure that she can get in there and help him. She she knows that she can figure out a lot of scientific stuff that he maybe can't, um, and yeah, I think that her her wits and her heart are are a pretty important part of, of Peter's journey and process as Spider-Man. Uh, as a character, would you prefer um, Peter Parker, who is a very shy teenager, or more like uh, Spider-Man, who is very strong and who is here to protect you? I think they're an inseparable combo. Um, I think that Peter Parker's shyness and empathy and sensitivity are what adds such an amazing dimension to Spider-Man and, and why he is so empathetic with the villains is because Peter Parker is underneath that suit. Um, and I think that Peter Parker is fueled by the knowledge that he is Spider-Man and he has that strength within him. So they're pretty inseparable. Mm. Uh, would you have any uh, messages to send out today to, to Japanese girls who, are, um, who wants to become like you? Oh, like me? <laughs> uh, I guess my only thing I think to young girls is that it's important to to follow your own path and to find the things that make you unique and that feel good to you and to, you know, live those things as much as possible, to be who you truly are as much as possible. I think that's a really important thing and the world needs that. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you.